All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakurash. Yahweh is the true, holy, and powerful name of the Heavenly Father, Bahasham, meaning in the name Yahweh Shai is the true, holy, and powerful name of His only begotten Son, who is the Savior of the nation of Israel, starting off with the elect within the nation of Israel. Israel consists of your so called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, as well as your Israelite foreigners scattered abroad. That may look like the nations where you've been scattered to, but our Israelites. And I also want to give the honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect, pushing out this word in all sincerity and in truth. All right, this is the brother you call from the GMS branch on the morning. I will come back at you with another lesson inspired by the Holy Spirit, Harakak Wadash. And um, this lesson is inspired just uh, through what the Spirit had, you know, brothers speaking on in, um, in our class yesterday and even in our uh, camp meeting uh, last night. Are pretty much going into um well i'm gonna just read this precept all right because this is the sentiment of what i received from it this is hebrews 4 and 1 it says let us therefore fear let's say promise being left uh left us of entering into his rest any of you should seem to come short of it that's right all right so we have to have a a balance in fear of the Lord to motivate us to to grow, to motivate us to um, continue to fight this good fight. All right, to not be complacent. All right, we have to have that balance of fear so that we can make sure that we're doing, continually doing these things that the Lord has commanded us to do. All right, so that we can uh, make it into the kingdom, man. All right, and what I want to entitle this lesson, Lord's will, is um, uh, what are you waiting for? All right, what are you waiting for? And just going into, you know, there's times where uh, in this walk, all right, where we may uh, act as if we're complacent, all right, through how we're moving, whether or not we're increasing and so on and so forth. And the question is, what are we waiting for? All right, to go to the next level, all right, to really uh, uh, to to discipline ourselves, to do what's necessary to meet that growth man all right this is the book of first peter chapter 4 and verse 17 it says if you be i'm sorry not first peter um uh, yeah first peter 4 and 17 it says for the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of the most high all right so judgment is going to be begin with us now the scripture says in the book of amos the third chapter that the lord revealeth his secrets unto his servants the prophets right so if judgment is coming down and it's going to start with us the lord is going to warn brothers before this judgment comes down all right the lord is going to speak all right through the uh through the elders and apostles all right speak through the men around you speak through your circumstances whatever the case may be all right to make whatever adjustments that we need to make before this judgment comes so that we can escape it so that we could obtain mercy all right that's why it says in the book of sirach <coughs> before let me see, man. all right this is the book of uh sirach chapter 18 and 20 it says before judgment examine thyself and in the day of visitation thou shalt find mercy so we shall all be examining ourselves all right and seeing all right what we may be coming up short in what we're putting off from day to day all right to make sure that we're getting that growth man all right uh sirach chapter 18 and verse 17 i mean sirach chapter 18 and verse 20 before judgment examine thyself and in the day of visitation thou shalt find mercy right so if we're examining ourselves then we will be making adjustments. All right, I'm coming up short in this area. I have to make a change. All right. Not putting it off like, all right, well, you know, yeah, I need to do this and I need to do that. And we ain't doing those things, man. All right. We're in the we're pretty much in the season where all those things that we know that we need to be doing, that we need to make adjustments in. This is the time to make those adjustments. All right. Because we're coming into a time where, hey, man, yeah, how forbid, but shoot, if we aren't taking care of what we need to, man, in the spirit, all right, increasing, because the Lord demands growth, all right, if a tree isn't bearing forth fruit, all right, then what happens, that tree gets cut down and we'll grab that, man, all right, so if we aren't uh, increasing in the spirit, man, all right, drawing nigh to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, all right, hey, we could get left behind here, man, and that should be a fear in us to make sure that we, not, we don't get left behind, not in a complacent mindset of, Oh, uh, you know, I'm going to be all right and everything's going to be OK. Like, nah, if we ain't making these adjustments, man, hey, shit ain't going to go smooth, man. We're coming into some very serious uh, times, man. And the spirit is ramping up. All right. The elders, the apostles, they've been going in. I've heard in the past couple of weeks, man. 
I know Apostle Tar, he's mentioned it in various in multiple different lessons on different topics. All right, going into brothers uh, having to grow. All right. If you ain't growing, you ain't in the truth. All right. I'm going into these things, man. All these lessons coming out uh, on, on different breakdowns. All right. Uh, encouraging brothers to go into these things, to be grounded, rooted, study more. These things aren't happening by coincidence, man. Judgment is at the door and we have to be rooted and grounded. And you have about Shimei Awashai, man. All right. Even last night, the brother Yeshaya, he had mentioned he was like, uh, he's like, you know how uh, tight your relationship is with the Lord, man. Right. You know, if you uh, uh, if you if you praying or, right? you know, if you fasting, you know, if you studying, you know, if you making sacrifices for Yahweh by Shemi Awashai, you know, if you're not. All right. So if we recognize that we are not doing certain things, man, this is the season to make those adjustments, man. All right. Because judgment is here. All right. We see the martial law. We see the troops coming in. People are they're getting fired from their jobs and whatnot. This is really happening, man. All right. What we've been prophesying about, praying about, asking the Lord to do, the Lord is doing it. All right. And we got to pray to Yah Bashimi Awashai that our spirits are truly uh, ready, man. We're going to be in positions to lead. Right. So even brothers that may may you might you may not have a, a, a leadership position, so to speak. All right. Or is a uh, um, may not be in the um all right like the the top man in your camp or whatever the case may be but uh, uh we're all going to have to lead man all right we are all going to have to lead another uh, uh, uh other individuals man that don't know nothing all right we're in those times man so we can't be in this complacent spirit like oh everything's gonna be our uh, like hey we gotta we gotta fight we have to continue to press forward so lucky i know i'm kind of rambling but it was a lot of things uh, a lot of things that were said in the spirit all right um at our class and um in our meeting that uh was very prevalent to uh the the times that we're entering into all right so it says um that's all i'll grab on that all right so let's go back to the book of first peter chapter 4 and verse 17 for the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of the most high all right so we should be able to pick up and see the alarm being sound all right we always go into it, all right? Isaiah 58, 1, cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, show thy people their transgressions, the house of Jacob their sins. All right, so we are that ultimate alarm, all right? But we have to take heed into the warning, all right? Because we can get caught up and, all right, we're blowing the trumpet, okay? But recognize that that trumpet <laughs> is an alarm for us as well, all right? It ain't just for uh, uh, those uh, in, in the outside, all right, that's not paying attention, all right, that's, that doesn't know about this faith or whatever, whatever the case may be, man. No, that alarm is for us as well. We have to be moving as we're uh, blowing the trumpet, man. All right. We have to be moving in haste. All right. Making uh, uh making sure that uh, we're, uh our spirits are being refined, that we're getting closer to Yahweh by Shemi Awashai. We have to still be doing all these things. It says, for the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of the Most High. And if it first begin at us, what shall the end of the end be of them that obey not the gospel of the most high so it's going to start with us all right and if the lord revealeth his secrets unto his servants the prophets well the signs are being shown man all right we are being warned that judgment is coming the lord is warning through brothers the lord is warning through the apostles all right even the apostles have been going into mentioning how hey it's time for a, a house cleaning man all right those things aren't just being said just to, to say it because it sounds good now nah, that's the spirit of y'all by shim y'all giving a warning unto us all right to examine ourselves man all right the scripture says in the book of zephaniah <coughs> all right zephaniah chapter 1 and verse 12 all right it says uh and it shall come to pass at that time that i will search jerusalem with candles and punish the men that are settled on their leaves right settled on their watch okay so we have to make sure, all right, yeah, we uh, we on the watchtower, all right, but are we settled? Are we relaxed, all right? Are we slacking and remiss in our business and our work, right? Are we putting off from day to day? You know, we have to uh, ask ourselves these sincere questions so that we can make the adjustments. Because once again, if we can't acknowledge, all right, that we're coming up short, if we can't acknowledge that uh, adjustments need to be, uh, that we need to make adjustments, right? And then they won't, they won't be made, all right? So it says, uh, Zephaniah 1 and 12, and it shall come to pass at that time that I will search Jerusalem with candles and punish the men that are settled on their leaves that say in their heart, the Lord will not go do good, neither will he do evil. All right. And that spirit, hey, that spirit can uh, uh, creep up. All right. You know, even as as we're prophesying the downfall of this place, all right, as we're doing lessons, man, you know, 
that spirit can still try and creep up, creep up to where we get in a complacent, uh, a complacency, man. Okay. You know, so, hey, we want to, once again, just making sure that we're examining ourselves, man, so that the day of the Lord doesn't overtake us un uh, unawares, man. All right. As it says in the book, book of Luke, the 21st chapter it says, watch. All right. And pray that. Uh, let's just go ahead and grab it. And these are some of the same precepts that's been coming out. All right. I know I've, I've been quoting some of these same precepts in the last couple of lessons, man. All right. But uh, Luke chapter 21 and verse 34 it says, and take heed unto yourselves, take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness and cares of this life and that day come upon you unaware. So that's how it happens, man. All right. It, it creeps up on you. And then next thing you know, you uh, 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 we out of the spirit. All right. Shit's happening. OK. Next thing you know, you're trying to hold on to certain things of this world when the whole time it was a mindset of letting go of the world. But that spirit creeped up of complacency. All right. Whatever it may be, man. All right. I'm just bringing out different examples, different things, you know, that brothers may uh, battle with, deal with in their spirit, different things that, <coughs> you know, brothers talk about and go through, man, that we have to battle through. All right. Because there is a spiritual attack. All right. On the men of the Lord, man. I know, uh, shoot, we, uh, the brother, even uh, the brother Mathati had, uh, had mentioned it. It seemed like, man, last week, like all of us, man. All right. All of us and even not even just us, but even brothers, uh, Outside of our camp was all sick, coughing and everything like that, man. These devils are putting up a uh, uh, serious, they are serious about <laughs> putting uh, spiritual warfare against us, man. They sacrificing all types of children and drinking, doing all types of stuff, all right? <laughs> and then next thing you know, all brothers is, is sick out of nowhere, man, you know? But just to point out, because there's no enchantment against Jacob, but just the point being is that we are in the spiritual warfare and we can't forget that, man. All right, Satan is trying to strip us away from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. All right, he's trying to draw us away from the Lord. All right, because if we aren't close to the Lord, that means we're outside of that hedge, man. Okay. When we when we're tight, close knit with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right, we are completely covered. But if we step away from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right, separate ourselves from Him, right, and we separate ourselves through not. Read and fast and study and pray. These these uh simple, all right, um, uh these simple uh, uh tasks, man. All right, these simple tasks, continually doing them in consistency. All right, showing a pattern of these good works, continually doing these things habitually. This keeps us close into Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. This keeps us in the spirit. All right, this keeps us uh covered, right. But if we're neglecting those things then by default, we will begin to separate, all right? We will begin to uh, lose that close connection with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man, all right? Nobody's exempt from that, man, you know? So we we have to continue to, to do these things, man. It says, uh, verse uh, 35, For as a snare shall it come on all of them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. All right. And the scripture says many are called, but few are chosen, man. So we have to give diligence to make our calling and election sure. You know. All right. So let's grab this in the book of Sirach, the fifth chapter. <clears throat> Sirach chapter five and verse. Uh, I'm going to get straight to the point. Verse seven. Make no tearing to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. That's right, man. All right. And this applies to us first and foremost. All right. We always, you know, bring out the scripture and talk about niggas that, you know, uh, walk by the camp. All right. They ain't doing the work and this and that and the third, you know, to repent. Right. But how much more us in this faith? All right. We all right, We know uh, what adjustments that we need to make. All right. We know what we need to do. We know if we need to be reading more. We know if we need to be watching more lessons. We know all these things within ourselves, man. So it says make no tearing. All right. Don't put it off as, all right, man, I'm a, you know what? I'm going to get better at this next week. All right. You know, well, when this happens, when this line up just perfectly, then I'll be able to put forth more effort to serve the Lord and this and that and the third, man. Now nah, we got to be doing all these things right now, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemmy, I was shining. The circumstances will work itself out, but we can't wait, wait for the perfect circumstances. All right. To then go hard for Yahweh Shemmy, I was shy. All right. Well, now I can go hard for the Lord because nah, man. All right. The scriptures talk about carrying our cross and following the Lord, man. Okay. 
Shoot, the Lord could leave you in that uh, uh, circumstance for a, a long time period. Are we not going to uh, fight? All right. We're going to give the Lord bare, bare minimum uh, uh, effort. All right. And the key point is uh, effort. All right. Because the work, the effort that we're putting in is what the Lord is uh, is uh, uh, watching. All right. Because he knows the amount of talent that he's given us. Right. But the scripture says that we should all show forth the same diligence. Right. So we should all be putting forth maximum effort into Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah into this ministry, regardless of the amount of talent, all right, or the level of faith, so to speak, that the Lord is, uh, is imparted unto us. That effort should be there all across the board, all right? So we want to make sure that we're putting that in, man, all right, really uh, uh, showing forth, not saying that, you know, we fully uh, believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, but it's shown forth in our actions, man, and the things that we're willing to sacrifice and the things that we're willing to give up, all right? And uh, uh, being being in the spirit and so on and so forth, right? But Sirach chapter 5 and verse 7, Make no tearing to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. That's right, man. And we don't want to get caught up all right, in this, you know? Well, I was waiting till this this happened and this fell in place so then I could, I could read more. Then I'll start doing more lessons and this and that and the third, man. Hey, the time is now, all right, for us to increase, man. All right, and this is coming from hearing the the sense of urgency that I that I heard. All right, that I'm hearing in the voice of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh All right, and the voice of, the, of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is who? Luke one and seven. The Lord spake by the mouth of His holy prophets, man. So, if, hey, through the Spirit, man, if you hearing the apostles and how they're speaking, all right, how the men of the Lord, all right, uh, the men around you are speaking, you know, the urgency that's in it, you can feel that Spirit that the Lord is tightening things up. And you already see it from a, pro a prophetic standpoint, all right, with how everything is intensifying, man, how judgments are increasing, man, you know? So, hey, we, we, have, to, we, have, to, we have to do it, man. We have to make these changes, all right? Whatever it may be for you. All right, this is the book of Luke chapter 13 and verse 6. <clears throat> all right, it says, uh, Luke 13 and 6, he spake also this parable, a certain man had a fig tree planted in his vineyard, and he came and sought fruit thereon and found none. Then said he unto the dresser of his vineyard, behold, these three years I come seeking fruit on this fig tree and find none, cut it down, why cumber it the ground? So this tree had time, all right, it was given three years to bring forth fruit, and three years it still wasn't bring, bringing forth fruit, man. All right, and we are these trees, okay? Going into this parable, we are those trees, man, okay? So it's time period, still in that, at the same level, right? Got enough knowledge to get by, all right, to do the lessons and everything like that, but not increasing in the spirit, man. We have to be increasing, okay? And that comes through what? Disciplining ourselves to continue to do these daily habits that uh, a majority of us had when we first came in anyways, man, all right? But a spirit of complacency, all right, can um can uh, creep in, you know, like even a prime example, the brother Mathathi had uh, brought this up last night, like even in the book of uh, Haggai, all right, Haggai had to go and curse out top men, man. He had to go curse out Zerubbabel and uh, uh, Joshua, the son of Josedek, man. These were top men. All right, if you know through the spirits, Zerubbabel is King David, you know, Joshua, all right, uh, uh, a great man of the Lord as well, you know, he had to go curse them out. Why? Because they were being complacent. All right, with the rebuilding of the uh, the temple during that time period, man. All right, he even said in that book of Haggai, the first chapter is like, pretty much you worried about the things of your house, but you're not worried about the house of the Lord. So there's times where we can get caught up in our own lives. Let me go ahead and grab that, man. All right, in the book of Haggai. All right, we can get caught up in what we got going on and this and then the third and neglecting the house of the Lord, man. All right, this is the book of Haggai chapter one. In nine, it says, ye looked for much and lo, it came to little. And when ye brought it home, I did blow upon it. Why? Said the Lord, Yahweh of hosts, because of mine house that is waste. And ye run every man into his own house. Right. So he was saying that everybody all right, is worried about what they got going on, what's going on in their house and their own lives. But when it comes down to the work of the Lord, all right, it's being uh, uh, neglected, man. OK. So we can't find ourselves in that mindset, man, and it can happen to any of us, because once again, these are top men that Haggai had to say this to, you know, so we can't find ourselves like, oh, no, nah, I got it, I'm cool, and nah, man, all right, that fear of the Lord should drive us to to have a, a sense of 
Okay, let me let me let me make sure that I'm 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 on point. All right, I'm coming up short here. Well, let me you know try and make the adjustment. You know, so that I don't find myself on the on the uh, the other side of uh <coughs> the other side of salvation, <laughs> being destruction, man. You know, outside of that hedge. But it says that's it on that. So let's go back to the book of Luke, chapter thirteen, and verse uh, seven. It says, and then said he unto the dresser of the vineyard, behold. These three years I come seeking fruit on the fig tree and find none, cut it down, why cumbereth it the ground? And he answered and said unto him, Lord, let it alone this year also, till I shall dig about it and dung it. Right. So when something is being dung about, all right, you're um you're uh, uh pretty much giving the soil the things that it needs to make sure that, that uh that tree can grow. All right. So it's been given everything that it needs to grow, okay. So applying that unto us, the Lord could uh, uh, bless us with more time so that we have more leisure to grow in wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, right? You might have been dealing with a, a tough situation at home or your woman could have been a, de a demon, all right, afflicting you more. So then the Lord separates her from uh, 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 your life, all right, to, to, to give you a, 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 a more mind to focus, right? Whatever the case may be, man, okay? Lord can have it where you lose your, you lose your job, you know? But then he sustains you, okay? And then you got all this time, so different things, all right, that the Lord does to 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 where we can have no excuse on not growing, right? So it says, and he answered and said unto him, Lord, let it alone this year also, till I shall dig about it and dung it. And if it bear fruit, well, and if not, then after that thou shalt cut it down, right? So we don't know, all right? We don't want to find ourselves, the Lord could be like, all right, well, this is the last year for this tree, Okay? I'm going to see if it's producing any fruit, all right? So we don't know if we in that year where the Lord's like, all right, I'm getting ready to cut you down if you ain't producing, man. And that's a fearful thing, you know? That's not <laughs> comfortable for anybody, you know? So once again, man, this is just a few things that I was meditating on from, from last night, man. We at the we at the end days and we got to, we got to, hey, we got to do what's necessary, you know? The scripture says, I'll just end it off with this. In the book of First John. All right, this is First John chapter three and verse uh, eighteen. It says, "My little children, let us not love in word, neither in tongue, but in deed and in truth." So the Lord is about that action. All right, the Lord wants to see. All right, if our actions are lining up with the things that we saying. All right, because hey, we can. Hey, Jay can fool men. All right, <laughs> to a degree. Okay, may be able to fool certain men. Right, but can't fool you. How about Shimei I was shy. All right. Can't fool you. How about Shimmy? I was shy. Can't have fake fruit. All right. Off the tree. Nah. See, and one thing about uh, growing, growing fruits. OK, see, a fruit isn't trees don't just start growing fruit uh, overnight. OK, it ain't like, you know, all right, cool, man, I'm going to tighten up. And then, you know, you, you motivated. And then the next day is great. And then <laughs> the rest of the week is just, you know, whack or, you know, whatever, whatever the case may be. And then you just got the fruit just off of that one day. Nah, see a tree is uh grows fruit through uh that person who is watering that fruit can uh, watering that plant continually. All right, so that tree grows and bears fruit through discipline, and that's the same thing with us being disciplined in our daily habits, which is going to ensure that fruit will come. Okay, it doesn't just come overnight. All right, it comes through consistency. So we have to be consistent with um uh with these uh daily with these uh uh tasks these basic things that the lord has told us man pray fast study and get around the akim you know being in tune with the spirit doing these things not in only uh in the presence of brothers but doing it on our own in our spare time man okay making time for it not finding time for your halabashimi awashah but making time for your halabashimi awashah all right because that's what we're here for man and I'll just bring out one other point that the brother uh, Mathati had mentioned, man. Hey, brothers ain't here. All right. We weren't sent here to, to just work nine to five for Esau. All right. That's a part of our captivity. That's a part of our slavery. But we ain't been sent here. All right. To, to just work for Esau. We're here to please Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So even in that, man, hey, our priority is to serve Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So our mind should be upon the Lord, man. We ain't in here just to get by. We ain't here to uh, to grow in the spirit to get salvation, man. You know. 
But that's it, man. Through the Spirit, Lord's will, that was other fine. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, the honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the whole for the elect. Pushing out this word in all sincerity and the truth with that. I'm going to say Shalom.